Well, folks, as you know, uh, COVID-19 has uh, created a almost bringing a lot of service that the city provides to a standstill, but we were very lucky that the uh, Premier was able to uh, uh, allow construction to continue, especially essential construction, and that would include bridges, uh, roadways, that sort of thing. So we did suffer a bit of an impact in terms of the amount of people we could have working on site and the amount of crews that could be uh, working at any given time. So the crew that was doing the piling, we had two of them. And at this time, uh, when COVID-19 first started, they had to reduce the crew to one, which was the original intent of the project. However, it has uh, uh, created some uh, lack of production in terms of how far we've progressed in the last eight weeks. We have gone all the piles in on the west side of the bridge. We've actually started the form work and started tying rebar as of yesterday. Um, we'll keep pro progressing on the west side as well. On the east side, the one crew is able to move over to the east side and we'll start an hour in the process of preparing piles to be installed uh, later this week and hopefully next week. So it is progressing along and as we stand right now the project is still scheduled to be open or the bridge itself is still scheduled to be open for traffic before Christmas of uh, 2020. However everything is really tight now and uh, we can't really experience any other sort of issues because that will definitely pose a, a, an issue in terms of the overall schedule for the project. Well, one thing that we ran into is a bit of a movement of the remaining building. As you look across, you can see what's left of the, uh, what was two buildings that formed one structure. Now there's just a one building, but however, we did experience some sort of settlement on the northeast corner, uh, which is surprising given that through the whole demolition process, uh, there was a lot of caretaking and there wasn't any movement on the bridge. And then it started moving about, I'd say four or five weeks ago, uh, right now. It's not moving uh, very much and very little as a matter of fact, so we're continuing with the, uh, with the task at hand and the big thing is now we're working on the foundations and once the foundations are in place, they'll bring in the girders that will form the main structure or support for the bridge decking itself. So I'm anticipating that will still be uh, probably uh, four to six weeks away before we actually see that and you'll see the skeleton of a bridge. Then they'll build the deck and once they get the deck done, uh, then we still have to install the water main that goes across the bridge uh, and other sort of uh, elements that form the overall bridge and once all that's done, like the sidewalks, the railings, uh, then we'll get into actually paving the deck of the bridge which should happen probably December of 2020.